This right here is a grinder, and you can see it has a diamond impregnated metal cup grinding wheel on it. Okay, this spins around and it actually chews up anything that's on the surface. This is going to help you achieve a CSP 2, 3, or 4. Uh, very, very aggressive grinding, uh, and when we hook this up, you'll see actually how effective it is. Very good piece of equipment, usually available at, uh, at your uh, supplier or rental house. Uh, very easy to use, and uh, we'll hook this up and show you how to use that. We also have a bigger, heavier duty type grinder. Now what we've got here is uh, these two heads rotate and these diamonds, again this is a diamond impregnated metal uh, insert here and these actually go in here and, uh, and they're held in place with these wedges, okay? And uh, once they're held in place, they rotate and, and they'll take material off the surface of the concrete. So we've got that. And then we've got another product here. This is called a scarifier. Now this is for very aggressive concrete removal. If you see these blades, these are all, uh, I think they're tungsten or some sort of crazy metal that'll, that'll just scarify the heck out of this concrete. But these will spin and they'll actually beat on the concrete and we'll actually be taking concrete off of the surface today. Okay? This is very aggressive, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, on the CSP scale. But this is really good for, uh, for concrete that has heavy coatings applied to it or concrete that's, uh, that has a lot of spalling or uh, deterioration at the surface that's still over good sound concrete. So the first piece of equipment that we're going to show you today is this big old grinder. Um, there's a lot of different manufacturers of grinders out there, so just make sure that when you're putting the heads on that you follow the manufacturer's guidelines. I've also got a vacuum hooked up to this because I don't want to breathe the dust because concrete has a, has a product in it called silicon that can get into your lungs and it can cause problems. So it's important to use water or to use a vacuum collection system whenever using a grinder. You can see in that little short period of time we broke through a lot of this old coating. You, you can see right here we're down to the bare concrete. It's got a feel like about a hundred grit sandpaper. So we've got a good profile on the surface. But we still need some more work. You can see over here where we didn't break through the coating. Uh, there's a few more areas like right here where we've got a little bit of sealer. Same way here. Um, all of this stuff has to get taken off the concrete to make sure that we have a good bond. Okay. You can see over here where we skin the top of the concrete off, we're down to the white, new, you know, virgin concrete. And that's what we want to make sure that our product sticks really well. Now in this situation, what I would do is, is continue grinding to remove all of this old coating, any sealers, product like this over here, and get down to the good, good uh, virgin concrete, and then pressure wash or scrub as needed whether you're interior or exterior you have to adapt but but then we really want to make sure that we get this concrete squeaky clean you can never be too careful when it comes to surface prep we're almost there with this product though so now, next we're going to show you the use of a scarifier this is going to give you a much more aggressive profile these scarifiers uh, are typically gas powered so interior use is not going to be possible mostly used exterior uh, for, for concrete that's got a lot of surface deterioration that needs to get the surface literally taken off 100%. It's going to leave you with a very aggressive profile uh, and that profile is actually defined by how deep you adjust your blades. Okay, This little guy right here 
is going to adjust how deep that goes. Very aggressive texture, okay? This is very aggressive. Um, if we're doing this out in the field, we really need to go crisscross back the other way until all of this has this aggressive texture. This is what you're looking for with a lightly scarified surface. That's got a lot of texture to it. You can see it's clean, it's down to the aggregates of the concrete. You know, this area right here is what you're looking for. The last one we're going to show you here is this grinder. This has got that cuff wheel on the bottom, and it's really going to take some material. We've done the scarification, showing you how deep that can go. That can take some really aggressive texture off. And then the same way with this. It's going to leave a different type of field on them all time. Now you can see as I'm rinsing off these, these, uh, these areas that we've ground and scarified and and uh, hit. You can see, so I want to show you something. Right here, see how the water is beating up here? This is telling you that there's a grease or an oil that's on that surface, and that's got to come off before we go any further. Okay? So we'd prop, we would grind that down to the bare concrete, and I'll show you that right now. Okay. Now, you see how we got down to the white concrete? This is what you want, okay? You got to be down to the white concrete. Oil spots, grease spots, anything like that is going to give you all kinds of headaches when you go to um, do, a, do an overlay, okay? So, it's very important to get rid of all those types of grease and oil spots. And you can see the texture on this. Let me rinse this off a little bit. You can see we're down to bare concrete and the texture feels like about a hundred grit sandpaper. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. This is what you're looking for with a ground surface. Down to the aggregate, you get these swirl marks in here. It profiles it, gives it that sandpaper grip and feel. The product is going to stick to this without question. Thanks for watching Brickform Surface Preparation Series. Remember, always refer to Brickform's technical information sheets for product specific preparation requirements. Also, once you get your surface profiled and clean, keep it clean throughout the entire project. Finally, check out our website at www.brickform.com for product information, additional videos, demonstration schedules, and training programs.